Rebecca and James and Wesley and Elliot and Tanya to come on up. We're going to have a special uh, dedication, baby dedication this morning. We're so blessed to have Monica and James here on staff with us. Let me go ahead and put this mic down so we can see everybody. Praise the Lord. Yeah, if you can come over here on my left side a little bit, that would be better. Praise the Lord. It's good to have uh, Monica and James join us on staff uh, as of last November. And what a tremendous help they've been with worship and with the church. And uh, it's good to have the grandkids a little closer. Amen. That's always good. And we dedicated Wesley uh, to the Lord about, I think it was February of last year. <laughs> And uh, he's something else, isn't he? <laughs> and uh, we're going to dedicate little Elliot Reed Smith to the Lord today. And uh, we're so grateful for uh, James and Monica loving the Lord. And I know it's their desire to raise their kids to know Jesus. And I just want to, uh, to uh, encourage them in that today. The name Elliot has a meaning in the Hebrew, the Lord is my God. And what an appropriate name. The family... Uh, according to the Word of God, is a divine institution ordained of God from the beginning of time. Children are a heritage of the Lord, committed by Him to their parents for care, for protection, and for training for His glory. It is appropriate that all parents recognize this obligation and their responsibility to God in this matter. And Jochebed of old trained her own child Moses after having given him to the Lord. Hannah recognized that her child was Jehovah's as well in the Old Testament. The Virgin Mary also brought the infant Jesus to the temple. The parents of this child likewise acknowledged their responsibility for the nurture and the admonition of this child in the ways of righteousness and godliness, helping little Ellie Marie at an appropriate early age to understand just who the Bible says that Jesus is and uh, to understand what the Bible says Jesus accomplished for Elliot's salvation when Jesus died upon the cross. Matthew 19, verses 13 through 15 say this, Then were there brought unto him, which is Jesus, little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. And we need to... Uh, we need to understand the responsibility that God has given us as parents as well as a church in nurturing and raising our children uh, in the admonition of the Lord. The purpose of this dedication of little baby Elliot is to ask the Lord as he did the children in Matthew 19 to lay his hand upon Elliot Reed Smith. That not one promise, not one purpose, not one treasure, not one blessing that God has ordained for little Elliot Reed would fall to the ground, but each promise, each purpose, each treasure, each blessing would be fulfilled exactly as God intends. And that's what our hope is today. Monica and James, as Elliot's parents, God has given you the greatest responsibility in his development. And that development is going to be physically, it's going to be mentally, it's going to be emotionally, and most important, spiritually. And uh, Proverbs 22 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not. Depart from it. Monica and James, with the help of the Word of God and the guidance of the Holy Spirit, will you commit together to train up Elliot Reed in the way that God would have him to go? If that's your desire, say we will. All right. Psalms 119, verses 13 through 16, it says, You have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My substance was not hid from you. When I was made in secret, and curiously made in the lowest parts of the earth, your eyes did see my substance, yet being imperfect, and in your book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there were none of them. Monica and James, the psalmist, in this passage reminds us that God formed Elliot Reed in the womb. It was his hand that brought him uh, into being. That Elliot Reed is fearfully and wonderfully made, and he needs to know that from you and from this church. He's a work of God's own hand. God's eyes have been upon Elliot Reed even while in the womb. God has written in his book plans for Elliot Reed's life even before he was born on May 12th of this year, 2022. Monica and James, do you commit together with the Holy Spirit's help to always point Elliot Reed 
to the God who created him and help him at an age of accountability to discover not only salvation through faith in Jesus Christ, what he did at Calvary, but to discover all God's purposes for his life. If that's your intention, say we will. All right. Well, I get to take the little tyke this morning. Did you get a picture, Brianna? 